Hey guys, we are back. It's 90 Degree Radio. We had our brief little intermission. Everybody came back with plates of fish. Yes, indeed. Um, <laughs> fish and hush puppies. We are eating good. And big burritos. <laughs> we refilled our cups. Compliments to Sky Blue. <laughs> they run it over it. <laughs> indeed, they do. So, man, we left off. We was talking about South Carolina State University. Mm -hmm. And I love their, uh, their theme song, their school song, Get Up for the Bulldogs. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Um, they came out feeling a good way. They started big, they ended big, so that's the most important thing. You know, but I was just saying, they have such a huge presence, it's time to kind of stop doing all those gimmicks. Right? I don't, I don't right. really. You right. didn't really need Lenny Williams. I would have much rather heard y'all just play something, you know. Very true. You play Spotlight Groove, that's kind of original to Morris Brown. That's always going to be Morris Brown in my heart. Mm -hmm. I understand that's why. Everybody. That's That's everyone. everyone. Yeah. Then you're in Atlanta. Atlanta. Who has played Spotlight Groove? All right. So, right. just right. what I'm saying, no right. one else plays that song. That's always going to be a Morris Brown to me. So, I mean, it sounded good, mm -hmm. but, um, good. I mean, you got to give it give it up to the 101. Good showing overall. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. I hadn't seen them since they were, you know, nothing. I mean, Luke. I can remember one time I went to a South Carolina State University game and they banned, I actually walked around in the band, in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm serious. That is so disrespectful. I, it, it is. And I was just saying, I was just like, you know, I was just trying to see what was going on. <laughs> I was like, the band on the other side of the field was just blowing. And they weren't playing anything back. This was some years ago. And I just walked over there. I literally just like kind of walked around. Could have picked up an instrument. In I could have. Right here. And I was just like, man, what's going on? Some like real depression going on here. But so to see the the you know to see them go from that, then I heard Eddie Ellis and everybody was going down to South Carolina to take over the program. So this is my first time seeing them since. Who was the director before it, um, Dr. Ellis? Well, that's a good um, question. That's a good question. Mm. I did know it at one time, but I don't know now. So is it relevant now? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah, but um, it's gonna make a lot of old 101 upset. Uh oh. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. That's just the way it was. The theme song was always there. I, honestly. Um, didn't know 101 had a band until what 2019 yeah let me tell you we went to defeat the beat in 2004 mm -hmm. and it was it was pretty bad yeah i remember they, hearing they about it out they brought out angie stone and <laughs> yeah it was was bad. this the was... post vh1 show she did like i'm losing weight i'm feeling great that one, I, one just, of those. <laughs> I, I just don't i just don't know but yeah pre eddie ellis south carolina state just probably didn't exist and the funny thing about it is, like, in the, I look at tapes of them from the 80s, mm -hmm. early 90s, they were serious. Mm -hmm. I don't know what was, what, what happened with these programs that they just kind of fell off around, you know, in the 90s and in the 2000s, mm -hmm. but I'm glad to see them back. They are back. They got a huge band, a huge presence. And they definitely had a following because they won the fan vote. Yeah. The people that texted the most. Mm -hmm. We're from South Carolina State. Now, for the ignorant that came to Honda, mm -hmm. I actually saw this on Facebook. We won the Honda Battle of the Band, South Carolina State. No, no. No, you didn't win. No, you <laughs> f -tard. What happened was you won the popularity vote, meaning you had By the text. most fans. Right. You mm -hmm. had the most people with metros in the building because my service was not that good with T-Mobile. I'll mm -hmm. say that. Right. So, so you guys are like the Al Gore of bands. You won the popular vote, <laughs> you didn't actually win the contest. Okay, a lot of Al Gore references. <laughs> hey, you may as well right. give Al some love. Right. But one interesting thing that I've just heard about today, I read about it on um, the fifth quarter, um, that South Carolina State is going through a um, a budget issue where they have a four million dollar shortfall. Hmm. And they, one of their representatives of the um, the board of trustees, actually went on record to say that they're going to have to cut the funding from a couple of the um, they call them their sacred cows, and the band was one of them on that list. So it's hmm. kind of unfortunate that they're finally getting to this place because South Carolina State has a lot of scholarship money. They do like they recruit heavy, hmm. but now um, that they've come to this place, it's kind of unfortunate that they're having these type issues. Yeah. You know? I'll tell you this much. If anybody from the Financial Budget Board of South Carolina State University is listening, if you cut funding to the band, you are cutting funding to your school. Exactly. It's the band is a part of the athletic program. That, that is something mm -hmm. we're going through right now at Alabama A&M. Right. They're trying to completely cut our program by cutting the kids' scholarship because they can't count. Seriously? Guys. It's a problem. 
Look, it's just the reality of HBCUs. That's the predicament we're in right now. You got your Morehouses, you got your Spelmans, mm -hmm. you know, those are prestigious HBCUs. Based you know, off their names, their names alone. Their right. names alone bring prestige. They have alumni to give back. They can sustain themselves. Right. They don't have huge programs because band programs, that's not where they put their focus. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Any other HBCU, it's all about athletics. And it's all about the band being a part of that athletic program. Mm -hmm. These are the things that bring money into black universities. Mm -hmm. You cut the band program the same way when, you, when these universities decide we're going to add money to the band program. Mm -hmm. And then they see an overall turnaround in the athletic program's financial gain. Mm -hmm. The same way you add money to the band and produce a better band. And then yep. as a result, you produce more money mm -hmm. in that program. You take away the band, you're going to take away money. Cause and effect. Cause Simple. and effect. That's just what it is for HBCUs. It's unfortunate in that respect that we have to highlight our universities in terms of their athletics first. Mm -hmm. But that's exactly what it is. Athletics bring attention to the school. Band is a part of athletics. Mm -hmm. It's the same way that other large white universities. Yeah. They put a focus on athletics, football. Mainly. Those D1 schools? That's what they do. Mm -hmm. They build stadiums that hold 40, 50,000 people, and that's how they... The campus seats, maybe 300, but... <laughs> the, stadium, <laughs> right, yeah. the stadium will the house a lot. <laughs> if you go to UGA, love UGA's love it to city. Death. It's a city. We'll just call it a city within, a, it's a, within Athens. Right. They focus primarily on that football team. Yep. Mm -hmm. It's a sacred... The, the football Building, it's a football building, not yep. athletic building. Football building. Right. Football mm -hmm. building in itself is its own entity mm -hmm. because that's where they place their priority. Now, granted, you know, I'm not, you know, wherever you bring in your money, you do that. Mm -hmm. No issue with that. But as Slate was saying, with HBCUs, that's where our money, that's that's where our money comes from. That's yeah. where it is. And a perfect, perfect example of that is, is my school, um, BCU. Mm -hmm. BCU would not be the school that it has grown to be right now. It wouldn't be BCU if it weren't for the band. Somebody got the bright idea, and it's probably the, the chairman of the Board of Trustees, who was a marching Wildcats member, mm -hmm. got the great idea that, hey, we need to fund this band right. because the band is the ambassador for the university. There it is. That's so when term. you put out a good band product, that's when you start getting recognition for the school because I didn't even know what Bethune Cookman was until I saw the band in Morris at, against Morris Brown. Same right. thing. Wow. And even what I realized when I was at Bethune Cookman, a lot of the people who did not even major in music or participate in the band came to Bethune Cookman because they saw the band. Right. That's how much of an impact it has. It's a major marketing tool. Mm -hmm. It's what catches our attention first. Right. And everybody else is the same way. That's Talk HBCUs. About root marketing. Right. That's what it is. For HBCUs, yeah. it's band. Mm -hmm. For other D1 schools, it's football. Mm -hmm. You know? For Ivy League schools, it's purely the reputation that they have for being Princeton. And right. right. It's, it's the for name. being academia mm -hmm. oriented schools. <laughs> yeah. For us right now, it's you know, it's it's band. So mm -hmm. we gotta we gotta capitalize on that, man. Mm -hmm. So at the same time, okay. don't cut the band money, man. Don't do yeah. it. Our lovely band members out there, don't do anything to get your program jeopardized. Oh, but we'll man. talk about that later. We'll talk about yeah. that later. Jesus Albany Christ. State. Albany. Albany State was the next band after South Carolina State, which was our fourth band of and the Albany Valley Band. We say Albany, and people out there might say Albany. Right, they say Albany. <laughs> <laughs> we say Albany. But it is Albany State University, the marching. Ram, Ram Show Band. Ram Show Band. Okay. MRSB is what they like to be called. So if you guys are a fan of Band Room Nation, you do know that Jimmy Jux is one of our co-hosts for our many, many commentary shows. Shout mm -hmm. out to Jimmy. Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy Jux, what's up, man? Jimmy Jux went back <laughs> to all Benny. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah. he did. Kudos to him for going yeah, back. Yeah, you know, and I'm, all, I'm, I'm, I'm always about, you know, you start something, finish it. And he's mm -hmm. definitely one of those people that you can tell, like, here's a goal, he's going to do it. Mm -hmm. So I love Jimmy for that. What instrument is Jimmy playing? Mellophone for Chorn. Mm -hmm. True that. Mm -hmm. So he went so, back and watching the band? Yeah. Well, he, he went back to finish his music degree. Yeah. So, but uh, he is marching. Kudos, Jimmy Jux. Do it. So, but, 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 but. There's a but. but, 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 but However, but. contrary. Mm -hmm. Now, last Big year when place. Albany came, they had these three girls singing. That was them, right? That yeah, was, that was because them. they were competing against Winston Salem. Those were the them. two that had they had the three girls. It was singing. them. <laughs> and uh, you know, we were like, okay, they sound the dancers and the dancer the passionettes. Yep, passionettes. They were on point. I will give them life. Mm -hmm. They were awesome. Again, they were awesome this year. However, however, when 
Albany State came out onto the field. I thought I was looking at maybe Redan High School, mm. Mays High School, somebody Raiders High School marching. That's right. what I feel. I did not feel collegiate anything when they came on the field. Nothing they did remotely said we are college bandsmen. Mm. Yeah. Period. Sorry. Wow. And I don't I don't know what it is about Albany that has that less than collegiate air about them because you notice we said that Virginia State may have been boring, but we didn't say that they weren't collegiate looking and sounding. Yeah, exactly. So what is it about Albany I mean, I know the screaming was one of it because I think they came on the, the, doing the Southern scream, and their band director is from Southern, so I mean, I'm he not knocking that. that. Okay. But I, I don't, I just don't know what it is, and I felt the same exact way that Sky felt. I just don't know why. <laughs> and we were, we were really, we were waiting. We were just waiting for a build up because we, mm -hmm. we know somebody that marches there, so we're like, we know he mm -hmm. has influenced them, and he's gonna da da da. Yeah, because he went hard on them last like, year. Last year he was the worst <laughs> when it came oh. to, you know, talking about you guys. So we were sitting there thinking, okay, so he went down there, woo -de woo, woo -de woo. That's the Georgia Atlanta thing. Woo -de -woo. Yeah, woo -de woo. Okay, woo -de -woo. You know, that's your in between, and right. it was. Mm. There was nothing. You guys should have went first. I said, they should have went first. They should have been the opener. They should have came on as the halftime show for the Pee Wee League. I'm sorry. They were those guys. <laughs> That's what they, <laughs> they were. Those guys. That's them. That's oh, the marching man. Rams. I'm sorry. I, I saw them, and I, I was honestly impressed with them hmm. overall in terms of their sound, in terms of their look. His expectations were low then. Because they were the that's the best Albany State band that I've ever seen. Okay, see? And a lot of people have said the same exact thing. In the history of Albany State, that is the best Albany State band I've ever seen. Okay. Comparatively speaking, were they the best there at the Honda? No, they were not. But I mean, that goes back to what we said about the variations, different levels. Mm -hmm. You have to have those schools there that are up and coming. If everybody right. was just great, it would it would be boring. It would right. be boring. It, it really would be. Completely would be. boring. Like we were just like, what? No. Because the thing about the underdog, you know, which is ironic, I'm wearing an underdog shirt. You are, you are wearing an underdog da, 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 shirt. Da, da, da. Underdog was one of my, you know, you talk about old cartoon characters. Another one of my favorite characters. I live very vicariously through old cartoons. Clearly, right Clearly. <laughs> I wasn't going to point it out. <laughs> I really wasn't. We're going to be having a long. <laughs> right. Don't touch it. <laughs> da -da -da -da. Right. What? Yeah, the first was the original Avatar. No, no. Here we go. Here we go. The degradation begins. Right. But the funny thing about bringing a school like Clark Atlanta and a school like uh, Albany State is. They are the underdog. Mm -hmm. And people always want to see the underdog upstage, one of the larger groups or more known. That's true. So you, you the underdog, you like, they're going to work harder. Mm -hmm. They're going to do something different. They're going to be more creative. They're going to do something out of the box, something to make themselves stand out mm -hmm. in this crowd. So that's the point of being an underdog. People have just as high of an expectation of you mm -hmm. as they do the schools with the reputation for being good. Right. The underdog has the advantage in simply... Any year they decide to show up and have a good show, they can put themselves on the map. Exactly. And everybody will be surprised. Like, whoa, that small band or this band that I never heard of did really well. Right. Right. Um, I don't know if they had that kind of show. I don't think they did. I don't think was so. Was it a good show? It Do you was. remember what they played? Um... I'm gonna go get a refill now. <laughs> <laughs> I plead the fifth. I, I think Albany fifth. was. Um, they were one of the groups that tried to do like a dance routine. They did like a. They're they're from the state of Georgia, yeah. and what everybody. Well, if you oh, don't know, yeah. if one of my pet peeves is when bands. And this is a northern thing I've noticed. Okay. They come down and they think if we play something from, you know, Freaknik era '94, we're gonna pull oh, the crowd in. Yeah, is it still yeah. the worst? They kind of play. Yeah, <laughs> they think if they play, I put my hand up on my hip. Yeah, people get up and start. Yeah, like they get nasty. Yeah, people they start. Think that getting nasty. They think they just automatically assume because they I, think that's the music that Atlantans like to hear. Like, yeah, forever. Like, right. We have and one thing about Atlanta. We have phases. Yeah, we, we do. Have, we, we do have, have phases. phases. You just need to follow the phase. You Whatever have to, the you phase have to do your is. research. And so when they came and they did, I I, I don't even know, but I know it was some a 90s old song. prunk song. It was some old prunk song, and I was like, you know what? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> had I you, been a You actually break. feel a little insulted, don't you? <laughs> what? Yeah, like and we're I was not that like, slow. And the fact, if you think about it, the people who are actually in the crowd mm -hmm. now. Okay, let's not look at people who are our ages who know the songs, but let's right, look at the majority, the, kids, the population yeah. who comes. The demographic right. that comes to Honda are high school kids now. Mm -hmm. yep. 
You're right. They don't know these songs. You are right. They don't. You're playing to the crowd. We don't. They don't know a song that's two years old. That's true. That's, what? That's the truth <laughs> of the matter. That's true. Say a it. song is two years old. It was hot on the radio. Mm-hmm. Nope. Play it at a battle of the bands. Play it somewhere. Everybody's like, mm. either they don't know it or they're like, mm, let's play it out. Right. So, and that's what they did. And I feel like for them to be in Georgia, right. the majority of your band, I don't really know anyone that's like from Florida, South Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee that said, okay, I'm going to Albany <laughs> to march. <laughs> no, that that is true. So, if all of your band is from Georgia, Mm-hmm. You should know better. What is your issue? Yeah, you should know better. Where are your gripes? We used to make that mistake at FAMU sometimes, and we would try to say, oh, man, what are they playing in Atlanta? Mm-hmm. What's popular in Atlanta? And the best For the formula, classic? For the classic? Or for the, eight, for okay. the Atlanta classic. Yeah. Especially when we were going up against Southern, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. And really, honestly, that's a mistake. Yeah. That is a mistake. Mm-hmm. Because Southern would come in there and do them four boxes on us. The circle. They would do the circle drill and the full box and get more right house right. yeah. Section number two can't get no needle. Break it on down, do the chest of cheetah. Cheetah, cheetah, cheetah. Cheetah, 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 cheetah. 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 And they would kill us with that little simple stuff. Basic. And we yeah. were trying to figure out all these types of things. We were doing Braves chants and we were doing <laughs> bankhead bounce. And oh, we were outthinking oh, ourselves. No. We were really Overthink- outthinking ourselves. Yeah. Overthink the whole process. It's we not, did. It, and I hate to say this about my city slash state, but just we're the, the most people. basic. We're simple. Yeah, we're we we like just to be entertained. None yeah. of that extra. We have songs yeah. that have four beat counts, and they are hits here. Yes. So right. you, just, <laughs> you can you, do that right. in your life. That's mm-hmm. the thing. We're an open yeah. opportunist. Yeah. And then keep in mind, too, you're going to see 10 bands, right. eight bands. So don't do what you think everybody else is going to do because right. some other idiotic band from some... up north is going to do that same thing. <laughs> right. And they're going to come down thinking that they can do the dip, the kilo something, and another, right. and Raheem the Dream, and they're going to fail. Right. Epically. Oh. Mm-hmm. So that's, that's just one of my pet peeves. Long be good. What was you about to say, man? Um, I don't even remember to be honest. But, uh, <laughs> uh, Albany State. The only thing I really remember are their dancers. Their dancers kind of brightened up the mood because they were kind of, they were kind of crashing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But uh, well, not crashing. I won't say crashing. Uh-huh. But they, they weren't. They didn't grab my attention as much either. Okay. But once again, if you think about it, Albany State was facing the other direction as well. Right. So maybe that was my big thing. Maybe it was the bands that weren't facing me got less of my attention. Yeah. So maybe that was that had something to do with because I, I mean, wasn't at liberty to run around the whole dome. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like me, of course. <laughs> but I, I mean, I did see them from you know from the the frontal mm-hmm. point of view. Mm-hmm. And but everything you're saying about them is is kind of true. It wasn't. Really, really exciting. Right. I tell you, the thing that really confused me was as soon as they came in, because what we didn't talk about was um, in the beginning of the Honda, they did a little preview where they had the drum majors and the percussion section oh, yeah. from yeah. every band to come out and do like feature. this little prelude feature. Mm-hmm. And it was okay. Right. But ever since they came, ever, ever since they came out, I was just looking like, what is this? What is this MR? Right. I didn't know. I, I didn't understand what that. What, what was it? MRS? MRSB. MRSB. Yeah. I was like, what is MRSB? I was like, okay, it's not M- MSRP. <laughs> I was like playing with different acronyms. AARP. Manufacturing su- suggested retail, <laughs> retail price. Uh, what, is, what does this stand for? I just yeah. didn't know. Yeah. And then, you know, I kept, I was just asking people around mm-hmm. where we were, like, okay, what does this mean? Mm hmm. And then I figured it out. It was marching rams, show band, show band, show band. Yeah, you know. So that was kind of like the highlight of their show for me. The MRSB, the MRSB, <laughs> and trying to figure that out, you know. <laughs> and again, they had a great performance. Mm-hmm. They had a really great performance, but I still try to think to myself, like, what. What was original about it? Public service announcement: The Rotel is done. The Rotel is done. The Rotel is done. Okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. People, uh, if y'all didn't know, it's Super Bowl Sunday. It we are Super at Bowl a Sunday. Super Bowl party. party. <laughs> Broadcasting. Right. 
for 90 degrees radio and barrelnation.com. Right. It's somebody's house that I don't know where they live. Yeah, I, somewhere on the Some people area. say it's in Douglasville. Yeah, it's, it's very dark out. That's all yeah. I know. There's a river yeah, slash lake. There's a lake. Right. On, it might be the Atlantic Beautiful Ocean. view. It, it, it very be. well could be the Atlantic There's Ocean. a playground sitting right there outside of it. Right. Yeah. So we just know that Very random something. playground. It could be the Suez Canal. <laughs> we, we, we don't know where we are. We don't know. <laughs> We're just drinking and eating and being. Right. You know, and we right. thank our producers for this. What band right. are we on? <laughs> we were just, just talking about wrapping we were just up talking Albany about Albany State. State. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, wrap it yeah. up. Yeah. And we were talking about the MSRP. That was on the back of the uniform. Oh, the M that, that when JK came right. out. Yeah, she was very confused. She was so lost. She said, what? what is it? And her, it, it was genuine. It wasn't. She yeah, was, she was very genuine. She wasn't a new phrase that people have to look at. She wasn't going in. Right. She was genuinely confused. She was like, what is that M? But it was a ram head. Yeah, it was a head, the head of a ram. Didn't look like an M yeah. to her. <laughs> Shout out to JK. We love you. Shout out to JK. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hopefully she makes it after she gets off work yeah, hopefully. today. Hopefully. I'm just thinking to myself, like, how do you... Okay, let me give an example because I don't want to insult anybody. Okay. One year, I think Florida and m decided to put a Michael Jordan jump man on the field. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. You know the emblem. Yeah. It's been the Nike, now it's mm-hmm. Jordan's jump man. Mm-hmm. It looked like an amoeba. Yeah, it was pretty bad. It, it, looked, like, like, it looked like some type of... It, it was terrible. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And this is not just coming from me as a rival, but we were genuinely perplexed with exactly what it was because we thought it was Gumby. Yeah. <laughs> That's a joke that we yeah. Had. I mean, we, we thought it was Gumby. I wasn't in the band at that time. <laughs> so I was looking at this saying, it's, wait a minute, it's a mitochondria. This is awkward. <laughs> this is, no, 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 it's a starfish. No, 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 it's an amoeba. Yes. <laughs> Mm. It's science. <laughs> it's, some, it's a science experiment. It was Joe came on. Terrible. Joe right. came on and saved it. He said. And Joe Bullock came on and said something right. Yeah. yeah. But the formation itself was terrible. Mm-hmm. So, again, we talk about show planning committees. Every school should have one. Every school should, every band should have a show planning committee. And I'll say this a band that actually did impressive for me this year mm-hmm. who just got a um, show band committee. Tennessee State. Tennessee State. This was their first year having a show a show huh. plan for me. All right, wait, the, wait, 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 wait. We're skipping. Wait, to Salem is next. Then we'll right. go to TSU. Right, wait, wait. Oh, the Crimson. All right, so you guys can talk about that North. because I went downstairs during their performance and there's no slight to them. It's just how things happen. Who's that? Winston Salem? Yeah. I don't know. But I'll just say the wrap up we Albany went though. Downstairs. Y'all went downstairs. So the wrap up Albany. Albany. Mm-hmm. Albany. <laughs> Listen, country. when you when you ask yourself. When you're on your show planning committee, you have to ask yourself, if I decide to make a formation, will people be able to see the formation? Or like, what's the height of the stadium? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, That's a good you factor. Go to your stadium, compare stadiums. In the Georgia Dome, people can see any formation. Mm-hmm. It's, the, the seats are situated as such, most of the time you can see what's going on. If you can't see, for well, the people in the lower they seats, put the they put it on the jumbo right. You see what it is. So... Ask yourself, is a ram's head really a distinctive enough formation for you to put... They made that? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, but see... I thought see, that was on the uniform. They made that? Why would you do that? But see, but but J.K. Oh, thought you're it was saying a, she right. thought it was an M. Yeah. Thought it was an I M. think she was talking about what was on she the was on uniform. She was on the uniform. Yeah, that's what oh, that was, was on, on the uniform. uniform. Yeah, it was so on yeah, the okay, uniform. Okay, so whoever's purchasing. <laughs> <laughs> whoever is in, that's a whole other in procurement. <laughs> right. right. The person that is in the uniform, whatever. <laughs> right. Don't do it. Just do it. So letters. we'll probably bleep out that whole segment. <laughs> right. I was Edit. Wrong. <laughs> right. But well, Albany State, I mean, best Albany State I've done, I've seen thus far. <laughs> That will get whacked. <laughs> uh, because just like y'all, I must have been ordering a drink or something. I saw them, yeah. but I saw them and I was thinking to myself, they sound good. Mm-hmm. The best Albany State I've seen. Mm-hmm. But again, you got to have that underdog mentality. You got to have that killer mentality when you're the small band. You got to bring something to the table. Albany State, so, you know, good they showing. I was like, look at Lothar on you. They got bigger. <laughs> 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 I was looking for the little, um, the white guy that can do it. Right, <laughs> David High. With the, uh, <laughs> I was sitting here like, okay. Right, with the, the Fidero, he only got on some little hat. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I was looking for. But from, you know, when I walked closer, it was really right. like a college man. So. Albany State, man, it, come on. Bring bring us something else next year. And I think it would have helped them again. In all fairness, they're all, they're, they are one of the up-and-coming programs. So it would have helped them to be earlier 
in the show, How in the lineup. How long they be up and coming, though? Yeah, I was about to say, they've been up and coming for quite some time. Listen, been, this is not their first time at Honda. I won't say this is their third time. We have to change our mentality. Every HBCU is up and coming because we all know that the only thing they need is finances. Oh, that's cute, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so says the ones who are not like, from HBCU, like they've been up on the on the on the grow, like they've been on the climb for a minute now. Right. I, what I mean, who, they're competing against Fort Valley. Really, what what are you doing? <laughs> That is their rival. Fort Valley is Fort Valley's Fort Valley's probably going to take their FBSU, place, too. FBSU, like, all these initials again. MSRP, FBSU. <laughs> uh, AARP, right. 401k, Wells Fargo. Why do they have to manufacture suggested retail price on the back of their uniform? Like, what's going on? <laughs> but, you know, one band that did grasp the, the underdog Role and taking a run with it was Winston Salem State University. So I heard Winston Salem State University, mm-hmm. longest name in the world, Craig. Mm-hmm. Winston Salem State I know. University. Oh, okay. it's one of those. You gotta be Catholic, a Catholic yeah. Archbishop. Yeah. For that. <laughs> Winston Salem State University. He plowed up a son of Domine. Oh, wow. <laughs> now, I know last year I was very impressed with Winston Salem because, again, I remember the commentary from last year and I was just like, oh, mm-hmm. their name is long, their name is gross. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I feel about this band. <laughs> and then I had to eat my words because they did exceptionally well. They had those young ladies that were singing who were awesome, by the way. They, they, mm-hmm. they didn't do the, uh, oh, they might have been Albany that did that song from. Set it off. I'm not that sure. That was Albany. Yeah, yeah okay. So Albany. they were the other girls who just, it was just like they did really well. Yeah. And the band did well. And I was in a total set of shock because the last time I seen it was actually on the original um, Battle of the Band tour mm-hmm. in um, Virginia, Good News, Newport. Newport somebody. News. Good News. <laughs> Good News. <laughs> Good news. Uh, <laughs> Newport <laughs> News. We were up there. I mean, so, the first time I heard that, it was like, yeah, we're flying into Newport News. I was like, what? Okay, why is the why is the newspapers on board? <laughs> like, you just think why is it that? news of Newport? Those that was my very first. I would say this, and this is so. Awesome. It was my very first um, plane flight, yeah. and Slater tried to calm me down because I was scared to death. And we were flying at night. We were flying at night, and I, I was that. scared like a. You were f- a flight oh. virgin. Guys, like, why the first time I'm flying on a plane is going to the Battle of the Bands? This is my life. <laughs> so, right, right. Like, really, but you know, I was like, Slate is the homie. He really, he kept me calm because the plane was empty. I thought it was so weird. It was yeah. like ten people on the plane. It was wow. all our staff. Yeah, yeah, I guess Newport News isn't really the place to be. I guess. <laughs> yeah, not not at that time. <laughs> it definitely wasn't. But I remember seeing them then, and I thought, uh, I'm gonna never go to school up here. Like yeah, Howard right. Hampton. For the name, maybe. Right. But just because, nah, mm-hmm. not so much. And that's when I was exposed to Norfolk. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, so Norfolk is the top dog up here. They run these parts. Mm-hmm. That's right. when mm-hmm. I was. And then for Winston Salem to come back last year and to make me kind of like, okay, you guys did, you know, some work. Mm-hmm. I was really impressed with them. This year, I didn't see them. What happened, guys? Tell I think me. they were the school that tried to do this like themed dance routine. Mm-hmm. From like um, 80s <clears throat> sitcom music. They did. Oh, they did the, the, the Martin. Right. They did I the was Martin. on the field taking pictures then. Yeah, they did like the Martin theme song. They did some other In Living Color theme song. They brought some fly girls out. I remember because I was down there taking pictures. So I was like, hey, kudos for them for trying to. It was creative. It was creative. They tried to do something different. Yeah. They tried to do a thematic dance routine. No one else did it. Nobody else did it. But okay, was their show based on the 90s? Because if that would have tied in with the show, mm-hmm. then I could see, okay, great. I get it. You right. did a 90s right. show. Right. Everything, you had a little Bill Bill DeVoe, this, mm-hmm. that, and the other. What's the right. guys? Ooh, yeah. I love you so. Hmm. Ooh, those guys. Hmm? Those wanna guys. I wanna love you. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll do some research. Let's I want to sex you up. Love you down, sex you up. Color me bad. Yes. Yeah, right. color me bad. Okay. Yeah. Like That's I'm saying, it. if they it was in there, we got Because this is all living color. They right. show their yeah. videos right after. Now, I'm not sure if they did that the entire show. <laughs> oh, but okay. I'm not sure. Not to say they did it, and I'm not sure. But uh, I, I certainly respected the fact they tried to do something different. It was out of the box. No one else did it. On right. the dancer team. So, you know? right. for the 10th year, let's do this. Right. Yeah. And it was, it was a good sound. Okay. It was a good sound coming from them. 
But I, I tell you where I was, a lot of people were, you know, a lot of people were, you know, picking at them a lot because they seem to have started mimicking Jackson State style. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. I've Somebody told that me argument. they have staff from... They do. Dr. Magruder. Yeah, it's from ah. Jackson State. It's from Jackson State. So that Jay. would make sense. Right. Yeah. So, you know, some, some band heads tried to get on about that. They were like, Woo! JSU coming back on the field! Okay, okay. Well, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> For all the... Two times! Yeah! Okay, but this is my thing. My <laughs> thing. This In is my thing. Band head. <laughs> <laughs> In the stands at a right. family function that does not right. allow liquor, but you're drawing. <laughs> right. You are out of your and mind, Jerry. Uh, kids okay. on the field. This is the thing, awesome. this is the thing though. Great. Wherever it is you receive your training, that's your training. Right. That's what you know. That's all you know. So right. you're gonna wherever you go, and if you're an instructor, if you're a head, you're gonna do what you know works. The the, the thing about it, Jackson State's concept works for them. Period. Right for them, especially if the product yeah. that you're coming into isn't. You know, that's the yeah, unfortunate part. There, you know. When you come to a school that has no style, right, and you come from your background that has it, it's hard for a lot of band directors to say, you know what, I'm gonna take what I know mm -hmm. and morph it into something that is not a exact copy of what it is that I know. Right. I always give a shout out, and I usually do that as an example. Walter McKelvey. Yeah. Mr. McKelvey, Morrow High School here yeah. in Morrow, Georgia, suburb of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, he came from the FAMU style background. Yeah, yep. But he took his program at Morrow. He morphed in some kind of way. He made a hybrid of core style. He did. And HBCU style. But it wasn't FAMU it wasn't HBCU FAMU style. At all. At all. It, was more, it was more aggressive in terms you look of. North Clayton, you think. Some kind of family, family. yeah. Family. But right. you don't look at Morrow, right? And you don't see it like at all because his was brass oriented, brass heavy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? His style was completely different than the school he went to. Right. So I'd look at him as one of the innovators who was able to say, you know what, I got my training here, however, they have this over here, but right. I'm gonna make up something completely different. And you, you know, know, it's something I've noticed about the family graduates, they're really good at doing that because there's a fam, uh, a family graduate down in Florida, mm -hmm. school is named Baron Collier. Mm -hmm. I think they're they're all Caucasian band. They performed right. at the uh, Florida Classic Battle of the Bands mm -hmm. and they rocked it. You know, he made it a completely different concept. Matter of fact, look up that name on YouTube, uh, Baron Collier. Baron Collier. They were at the, the Florida Classic uh, uh Battle of the Bands, and right. they lit the place on fire because they have a completely different style right. that looks absolutely nothing like FAMU. Right. I didn't even know the band director was fam from FAMU until um, I looked it up. And then you have Were they Lassiter. traditional? Or they're, yeah, they're I mean, Because, they're you know, of course, when, pe well. when people see, you know, they predominantly Caucasian too. band, they think automatically, oh, they're core style. Right. right. They automatically right. core style. Right. Exactly. And uh, over in Lassiter... Um, mm -hmm. oh, we, well, that's a prime example. <laughs> right. right. From FAMU. Right. Um, Alfred Watkins. Alfred Watkins. Right. But he didn't bring, you know, the high stepping thing and just change everything because that's all he knew. He right. That is one of the best band programs in Georgia. Probably the best. Yeah, the best. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'll say the it. best, right. That's it. It's the best, the best band program in the state of Georgia. Let's mm -hmm. just say it. Period. Right. High school band? Right. Man, what? Right. So, so yeah, you're gonna get that when you you know when you go to a band like Winston Salem, they had their own style, but it was very localized. Right, right. Not largely on the HBCU scene. So you know when they start to get their recognition and they have some band directors from Jackson State, of course they're gonna introduce that style. Mm -hmm. I mean it's a good style to introduce. I'm not gonna yeah. lie, you know. <laughs> It is. Especially with the drum majors, but there can only be one set of Jackson State drum majors. Yes, yeah, that's Th true. There's only one boom. There's only one boom. There's and, only one boom. That's Winston just what it is. It's not going to be it. I just hate to say it. Right. So, Winston, good show. We'll call him Baby Boom. Mm, I don't know. I, I don't even know like, if that's not even that. I don't like know that. Like that. You know, I used to get on South Carolina Church State man. about being the one of one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Come on. Manhood being questioned right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Baby Boom, come on. We're Baby Boom. 20, 22. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Put your grown self. <laughs> right. <laughs> I get it. I'm right. sorry. I'll just say that. At some point, all the rappers <laughs> dropped a little from their name. Exactly. Romeo. You know, Bow Wow. They just Romeo, they Bow Wow. Even mm -hmm. though Bow Wow still sounds like very childish. Very. You know, but he Bow Wow. He ain't little Bow Wow no more. You're right. right. So, Lil Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Maybe that's good for high school. <laughs> right. Exactly. You don't want to be a college. <laughs> a college little you know, That's like Cedric the Entertainer saying, I ain't calling no grown man delicious. Come on. <laughs> You're grown. I ain't, 
<laughs> that's a that's a childish name. You're right. You guys are you know, absolutely right. It was good that you I threw am. it out there. You got yeah. You know. yeah. I do, but I see what you guys were saying as yeah. far as no you baby boom. Can't do that. Right. Can't do baby that. So he gave us his input on Winston Salem because we both missed it. Yeah. Um, right. Now we're up to Tennessee State. All right. Mm-hmm. Good showing, Winston Salem. Good showing. Yeah, good show. You know, and um, continue to grow. Continue to grow. That's that's what I say. So now. We are at Tennessee State University. The aristocrat mm. of bands. The aristocrat of bands. You know, I looked up aristocrat. Mm-hmm. All right. What'd you find? The aristocrat means What's the mean? the being one's highest self, mm. the highest quality or character that a person can be mm. in their particular field. Okay. The best of the best. Mm. The I feel like creme a however de la is coming from this. I really feel like a however. <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I will reserve my you know comments about okay. specifically about the the drum majors we were talking about earlier. Oh, when I told y'all okay. about there was a set of drum majors oh. that we needed to talk about. Gotcha. Um, but you know, I I I like the originality of that name, aristocrat. I just kept thinking in my mind. Well, you know what? If you go to the liquor store, aristocrat is not the liquor you want to buy. It uh, is the bottom yeah. of the barrel. Yeah, so that wouldn't apply. <laughs> it comes Isn't in the plastic ironic? bottle. Mm. <laughs> it is what gets you sick. It right. is what most college freshmen get because it's uh-huh. cheap. It's like seven dollars a bottle. It's right next it to, is, the, to the MD twenty twenty. Yeah, there you go. Or Fred Sanford <laughs> or, drink. Or, or the Alize <laughs> <Right>. cough. <laughs> listen, <laughs> the person listen now. Someone listen, brought Alize to the Super Bowl party today. I'm picking the bottle. Right. The bottle was very pretty and it caught my eye, and so I felt the need to pick it up for all of the people at the party. What year is this? And, and Ninety-one. And Jojo was still <laughs> They have flavors now. I've never. You know, tonight will be the first time I taste Alize. I'm going to taste it. I guarantee you, you nobody's should. opened that bottle. Mm-hmm. I'm going to taste Alize tonight for the first time in my life. Sky Blue is going to taste Alize. I'm just going to let y'all know that. Oh. I'm going to try it today in 2012. Y'all need to get all my Alize. <laughs> but there Tennessee State Tennessee University. Tennessee State University um, aristocrat of bands. Being from Alabama and M University, March of Maroon and White, that is one of our rivals. Mm-hmm. Point blank period. We have um a classic with them every year, the John Mary Classic. And that is like our rival. I love I would say this. Mm-hmm. Um I've always liked T S U in the stands. Right, right. I've never loved, liked, favored leaned in, enjoyed a field show that they've ever done in the history of their band. I've never enjoyed it. Unless you want to go to sleep. They are so boring. Okay, I have to interject. Uh In the 90s, and this is, you know, this is when... When you marched. No, (laughs) yeah, in high school. (laughs) You know, there was a thing in Atlanta called the Ebony Classic. It was held at Georgia Tech State. I'm sorry, what was it called? It was called the Ebony Classic. An Ebony Classic held at Georgia, at Georgia Tech. <laughs> the funny? biggest oxymoron <laughs> Ain't that in funny? the world. Because that was, you know, it was just a better venue for our schools at that time than gotcha. the Dome or, Herndon, you know, or Herndon. Yeah. Or Herndon. You know, Herndon we wasn't. We didn't have the Dome then. We had Fulton County Fulton Stadium. Stadium. Fulton County Stadium. You're right. And Herndon was not renovated at this time. Oh. Mm. Herndon didn't get renovated until after the Olympics in so 96. So the only option right. was what? Lakewood. <laughs> yeah, which was not, yeah. <laughs> High school, right? For those of y'all that don't know, right? right. (laughs) But the Ebony Classic, Georgia Tech's stadium, and Tennessee State. This was the year Cool Mo D was out. They played FAMU. It was FAMU and TSU. I mean, it was uh, yeah, FAMU and TSU. Original. That was what it was called at the Ebony Classic. You know, it was still sponsored by the hundred black men. Oh, they changed. You know, but then it it changed into the Atlanta Classic. But. Tennessee State used to give FAMU a run for their money on the field every single year. Are there they any have... scrolls or documentation? <laughs> that, uh... are t- we don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I don't believe you. There are tapes. Hashmark, we don't believe right. you. We need proof. Yeah, I need, I need to see No some one believes you. Right. But, you know. You However, know. I do agree with you that I enjoy Tennessee State the most when they are in the stands. Right. They are right. they put on a clinic. Especially when oh, they play the show. Man, they oh, put, they on, play a the show, put on a clinic. You it's, learn so many different variations of music uh, just in forms and and just Phantom arrangements. Of opera. Like yeah. they can they they make songs sound like they Spanish. Make, they really <laughs> oh they do. It's it's yeah. a and it's a wonderful thing. They are I, a stand band. Another story. I tell you all, play Tennessee State, it must have been ninety four. FAMU or TSU at Vanderbilt Stadium. We waxed them on the field. 
<laughs> waxed them, completely waxed them. They got in the stands on us, and this was the year that uh, Biggie Smalls had put out uh, don't, 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 don't. No, 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 no. I forget the name yeah, of something. Yeah, that. gotcha. Biggie, but, biggie, biggie. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But they actually played that, and then they played the Chuck Mangione version that the modulates. Da, 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 da. So when we heard them modulate, the whole fam you band was just like, oh, damn. I'm just gonna throw out a common fact that most just, most Norman, we'll say most commoners, do not know. Chuck uh, Maggio, anything. Right. <laughs> like, Chuck Maggio, right. I just ruined that. So right. like, he's the guy who plays the song in King of the Hill all the time. Uh, right. Yeah. But yes, <laughs> when people don't appreciate musicians, I don't get right. it. You're like, right. Yeah. We gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta marry a musician if you can. Right. That's all I have to say. Yeah, very talented people. Right. Out there. And but, they also played the Price is Right theme on us. And they yeah. still play. They still do. They that. still. So I'm saying that us, you know, being who we are as band heads, we like all types of music. Game show music we uh, enjoy it and music. we get hype off of it yeah we do oh, <laughs> they we did do. not just play the price of right oh my right. god right. did they just play voltron because this is the music that made us who we are right so it's like y'all just reproduce that <laughs> night rider right oh my god he's night rider mm -hmm. so yeah. i was saying that us sitting on the other side of the field was like we just destroyed y'all on the field but they just came back in the stands and just opened they just and, and we were thinking to ourselves, if we call ourselves the best, why are we playing this music in right. stands? They are a diverse Statistics group. State makes they me are a, a diverse group. <laughs> their book is so diverse. Their book is sick. It, it is. You know what? Yeah, their book is behind. sick. They're going to kick our behind next year because, you know, Tennessee State does play Bethune Cookman next year. Yeah. And they're going to kick our behind in the stands. They yeah, are. It's just, just get ready for it. Yeah. I mean, Everybody who plays TSU. Just get ready for it. Yeah. They're gonna. You know, we we sit there at John Merritt and we enjoy the fact that we play everything. Like right. we overshadow them, but mm -hmm. they play stuff. We like, oh. right. <laughs> like, man, we like what do you play now? I don't even think about this. What, like, right. Do what, what do you play back? And their marches are all sick. Yeah. yeah. Every march, ever. They are wonderful. They are wonderful yeah. in the stands, and they make you really appreciate what a chess game the fifth quarter is. Mm -hmm. The Good. fifth quarter is a chess game. If I play What's game show music, what are you gonna do to match that? What's if I play a march, what are you gonna do to match that? And people don't really think about that. They when it don't. Comes to fifth. They just think, oh, we gotta play. We got five songs that we're gonna play. No, no, right. no, no. You need to counter. You need to counter. You don't just throw a song out there because you cannot play. Right. Uh, I don't know. Get ready and then. Okay, no, no, no. They play something. They play a march, and you right. come back with some bull. Right, or something that's just really loud. <laughs> right. Like, and you think, oh, I did that. No, you did nothing. Yeah. Right. All you did was take up three minutes of our good right. time. You, you just, play you something, something, right? And that's what they think. Oh, it's a volume match. No, no, it's a chess you, game. There's it strategy is. involved yeah. in the fifth quarter. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people don't get it. And they walk yeah. away like, oh, we blew y'all out. It's like, okay, yeah, we knew y'all got a reputation for blowing people out. Mm -hmm. That's fine. You know, <laughs> right. you're louder than them. <laughs> right. Guilty. That's fine. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but did you match them? Right. You know what I'm saying? And Tennessee State will. I mean, I saw them a couple of years ago. They gave it to Jackson State. Mm -hmm. It was the. It was a classic in Memphis. Memphis. Yeah. In Memphis. And uh, Jackson was playing all this stuff, and Tennessee State was just outmatching them genre for genre of music. Mm -hmm. Tennessee State played like something like "It's the God in Me" by Mary Mary. Mm -hmm. And Jackson didn't have an answer for that. Right. It's like it just played something else that's really loud. Is that Reginald McDonald's doing? Well, you know what? I don't. I, I think that's that's always been just common. Them? That's just always them. been Tennessee State. Yeah. Okay. You know, you know, back in the day when they had the best version of talking, because they would just have the tubas just playing, and then the trumpets would just come in and just play this super sick high F or Offer C. Offer their little two cents and go back about their business. Yeah, yeah, they just. I mean, they they have always been the best band in the stands as long as I can remember. They yeah. really are a band stands, but right. when they get on that field, God. When they get on the field. Usually it's snore time. But There's this, another story. I will say this: this is the first time in the history of TSU marching band history, that, period, that I enjoyed the field show. I was thoroughly entertained. I so. enjoyed the field show. Yeah. I've never enjoyed their field show. It's usually it's like, oh, I see these bras with these white tights and red lipstick. <laughs> it's just a <laughs> over from there. I didn't enjoy the dance routine, but the show overall, the I show, thought yeah, was a better. I'll take the dance routine and they out, sounded but good. they sounded great. They, sounded they did. Good. And I'm so glad. Thank you for having a planning team. Show planning committee. Because you this, need it. You, 
this, you know, and I actually got this information because my younger cousin plays his phone, uh-huh. and I saw him in the tunnel, and I was like, you guys did, like, really well. Like, you know, I don't even like y'all, but y'all did really well. <laughs> and he, 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 <laughs> Y'all just, y'all suck. Y'all did a good job. Yeah, but it was good. He, he this looked, time. He, right. he looked with this most odd face like, oh, yeah, well, we, uh, we, we, we have a planning committee now. Right. And I was like, you know what? You needed that. Hold mm-hmm. on to it. True they that. did really well. The mm-hmm. fact that I remember mm-hmm. right. stuff that they did. Me, Jagger. Uh-huh. I like guys. I don't know what the girls did, but. Yeah. The, the arrangement. Right. Really nice. Yeah. 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 Moves like me. Who would have thought to think play that? Right. Yeah. Who have you ever heard it anywhere else? Right. Haven't. I don't Nowhere. Think so. I haven't. No. I like. I like that they converted from. You know, they used to do this little T lowercase S U. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but now they do the big. T. Now they do the big T. The we big are like T. the volunteers now. <laughs> yeah, it might be some bar, some blue. Like it might, it might be. I'm just saying. It might be, but I like that but better than the yeah. lowercase T S U. Yeah, it's it's really bold. I like the big yeah. T. Yeah, and you know what? It's more so. It's not focusing on the football team because, of course, that's on the football team's helmet. Yeah, right. it's like a school. It's, it's giving the identity for. Or the band exactly right. the band have an identity bands right. do that you know mm-hmm. so bands that, that do was that good. that was good for yeah. them I, I actually and you know I ranked them in actually my top three right. which is shocking I would never do that right not overall <laughs> so, not yeah, for that, exhibition exactly so I think you know but I do have a gripe with Uh-oh, the Tennessee go. State University drum major what, what's, what's what's the gripe? I don't I don't know if it's the gripe I don't I don't know if it's the gripe I don't, I don't know how to call it. You know what? I should actually commend them. It's not a gripe. Uh-uh. How quickly that changed. Yeah. <laughs> I should commend them because clearly they were doing some fundraiser for maybe a 5K uh, <laughs> breast cancer awareness walk. <laughs> and they decided to do it during halftime. During the, during so actually, I commend them for it because I saw... I, the drum majors, they walked the entire halftime, and I was like, there must be, I was like, there must be some, there must be some kind of charity-based uh, reason for this, I, and I just named it a, a, a 10K walk. It was just a 10K. The aristocratic walking. Aristocratic drum major, the Tennessee State University drum major aristocrat 10K Breast Cancer Awareness, <laughs> Susan G. Coleman, Walk. A very hard association. <laughs> it was something. <laughs> because every time I looked up the drum majors, with the exception of when they first came out. The intro. Was wild. The yeah. intro, they walked the whole time. <laughs> I'm like, y'all must not, y'all's uniforms don't even have cost to get dry clean. Because they you, you, you didn't sweat. <laughs> you didn't sweat at all. It's specifically the one on the if you were facing oh, them, call them out. If they were facing you, you mm-hmm. know, the one on the far left. <laughs> the, whoever had that left end, mm. you know, I already they feel walk. how I feel about Tennessee State's drum majors. They don't have a style. Right. They don't. They, just go out they there. don't have they a don't. style. They do not. That's true. Anytime you deal with a drum major that don't have a cape, there's a problem. <laughs> I'm just I'm just being real about it. Uh, they they don't they, there's there's just when you see this flap on on your coat jacket of your uniform it's just a flap. I I can't tell the difference between wrong. I can't tell the difference between you and somebody who is in the band. Right. <laughs> but a band has capes. Mm-hmm. Oh, the band, band has short yeah, the band capes. Has a short capes. The man has a short cake. The drum majors have nothing. I'm like, are you going to a formal dinner? Right. <laughs> or are you about to march during halftime? Something's missing. They have some sort of emptiness inside of there. It's like yeah. five. some yeah. sort of emptiness. You see, that, that, that messes with your manhood, too. Because you, know? <laughs> you got to have a cake back there or something. You can't just You got to have, you need a cake. The longer you know? the cake, you know. I'm the just more saying. Right. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The longer the cake. Just you know? saying. If you do you know? a half cake, you might be half stepping, but you do a long Size cake. matters. Yeah. yeah. Size it definitely does matter. matter. Size does, does matter. And you, I mean, you can't go from having no, you, you can't just show up with no cake. <laughs> you know, you got to give your audience something to work with. <laughs> Get you a cape implant. Epic fail. <laughs> an implant. A cape implant. Do, do something. A temporary. Y'all, y'all drum majors are impotent in the cape category right now. <laughs> impotent. Come on, y'all. I'm oh. just saying. Tennessee State's drum majors, specifically drum majors, I need you all to get a style. 
Mm. So we're back again on the procurement department. Here yes. We <laughs> we're back. The designers or whomever that. Listen, when we were in high school, <laughs> there was a lady God. named Della Ray right up on Wesley Chapel Road. <laughs> Here we go. Now now her own, right. She had a modernizing <laughs> and an altering business. Mm -hmm. She made our capes. Tennessee State Drum Majors, if y'all hit me up, you gonna go to Delaray? I go holler at Delaray for y'all. <laughs> you gonna holler at Delaray? I, I will even be willing to contribute $150 of my own money to see for them three capes that y'all get some capes. You heard it here. I mean, I, 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 have, I have children and responsibilities of my own. I promise you, but I, I will find a way to contribute $50 for each of the three drum majors to get a cake. Mm -hmm. Then they won't have to do the fundraiser, the walking fundraiser. <laughs> the walk then they can march. They, that's what the fundraiser is for. That's exactly right. They're trying for. to get cakes. Maybe that it fundraiser was for cake. It makes sense We just solved the mystery that people have been trying to figure out. Oh, exactly. man. Yes. A great mm -hmm. wow. unknown has just been revealed. Right. Stop putting your money towards those white stockings and red lipstick. For the sophisticated ladies. And get your drum majors okay. some cakes. Listen, can y'all are y'all Star Wars fans? I am a Star Wars fan. Have you ever seen like any part of Star Wars? You Star yeah, Wars yeah, fans. Star Wars Star Wars fan. Have you seen it? I've watched Star Wars. Okay, everybody's Star used to seeing Darth Vader, with the voice of James Earl Ray. Can mm -hmm. you imagine Darth Ray, Vader walking around with that James Earl? Jones. Right. Yeah, Ray James Earl Ray Jones. Ray Jones. Ray Jones. Ray 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 the one they say kill Marlon. We'll edit that out. That's right. We'll edit it out. James Earl Jones. Can you imagine the voice of James Earl Jones? You see Darth Vader. He walking by you with that black helmet. He got the. Mm -hmm. The asthma. Nope. <laughs> you will join the force. He mm -hmm. got all that. He got his mm -hmm. red lightsaber. Mm -hmm. And he walked past you and ain't got no cape on. <laughs> <laughs> With just tights. Just tights <laughs> and high boots. <laughs> so, and high boots. And high dog Vader boots. The helmet in the back. Tights. And no cake. So spandex, tights, no cake, no homo. That's what she pretty much just said. I'm just saying. Just Tennessee State, y'all look like Darth Vader in different colors without a cake. Without a cake. Come on. It takes away from the mystique. It takes away from the presence, mm -hmm. the strong leadership image of a drum major. The leader. Everybody knows that super, Superman could not save the city. Yeah, without a cake. Let's talk a, about it. He has an S on his chest, mm -hmm. but when he stands, his cape is... Get blown. His blowing cape is blowing in the it's wind. Majestic. It's majestic. Batman is standing on top of the building in Gotham. Blowing and in, in the wind. His cape See, you now y'all stuff is coming out. <laughs> yeah, so it, it's true. It makes sense. I mean, every, all all every, the great X Men characters, Storm they has have a cape. capes. Cape. Storm has a freaking cape. They and have she's capes. technically now the leader. Yeah, she, she is. Yes, she, she went leader. on to be the leader. She's going to be the leader. So I'm just these saying. are facts, people. <laughs> we know these that. are facts. Yeah. Yeah. Do some research, guys. These are facts. This. Everybody yeah. just do this for a second. Yeah, Close your eyes. Serious matter. <laughs> All right, we're closing Envision your eyes. a world of superheroes where Batman has no cape. Oh, my goodness. Superman has no cape. Ooh. Storm has no cape. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. You just saw Tennessee State drum <laughs> <laughs> Body mouse. No cape. Right, no no cape. cape. On the field. No cape. Even Underdog had a cape. <laughs> yeah. uh, Come on. Mm, mm, mm. That is very important. Uh, I'm just saying. That's that's my only Ooh. gripe. Even the band has capes. Even the band has capes. You guys overstepped every. You started from the, the triangle player. <laughs> <laughs> you went from just the. I'm just I, saying. And you say, you know what? We get to drum and stop. We ran yeah. out of money. No more. Right. <laughs> right. No, more. no, we can't. We, we can't get a long game for no, these no, guys. No, no, we can't. It'd be no, nice. No. A nice one that said aristocrat. Mm -hmm. It could be beautiful. Right. Nice embroidery. You yeah. Right. You it's guys can do a lot with that. You, you can do a lot with that. Run with that. You, yes. That could be yours. Different Own colors it. for each side. Yeah, red. Red. Oh, reversible yeah. is good. Yeah. White. Right. Uh, Red on one side, blue on the other. Some real nice the head drum major, he does some totally different. But I'm uh, just saying, right. you guys have all these opportunities, mm -hmm. and you won't. You have it. Why yeah. won't you guys take flight? Yeah. I'm just it's literally <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> just not, take flight. You know, it gets take cold in, in Nashville. You know, get mm. to Cape. You know, you're at these Tennessee Titan games. Wow. Every and that's that's one thing a lot of people don't know. Mm -hmm. um, one of the stipulations with the contract of them building the Tennessee Titan Stadium is that Tennessee State have all their home games there. Oh. Wow. Ah. They, so they have all their home games in their stadium because that is their home stadium. And the same token, they have to play at the Tennessee Titan games. Keep mm. in mind, they have the same colors as well. Right. 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 Wow. 
the possibilities are limitless. Yeah, yeah, see yeah, Titans, yeah, I see yeah, some yeah. navy blue, I see some baby blue, I see some exactly. red. Mm-hmm. You, just, you just, just mix that thing all up. Uh, get you, some different color caves. Yeah. Yeah. You guys could be soaring. You could right be. Right now, you're coasting. Yeah. <laughs> you got to be, you, you, you need some accoutrements. They're walking yeah. according they're walking. to right. yeah, what, what sound they're walking. Yeah, you, the 10K walk. Mm-hmm. The 10K yeah. walk for cystic fibrosis. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was some charity. I don't know if it was. It might have been Susan G. Cone for the cure of breast cancer, cystic fibrosis, playing parenthood, playing parenthood. It was something. It was something. It was something. It was, it was, it was, something. It was wow. something. But there was definitely a, a 10K walk going on mm-hmm. okay. with the drum majors. So overall, for we'll say for Tennessee State, I would say Sky Blues. Uh, I would give Tennessee State. I think they did exceptionally well. Yeah. If they come back next year, I wouldn't be surprised. You guys did really great this year. Everybody else, what's your take? I, I, I give them two thumbs up. They thumbs they, up. they were one of the best sounding bands there, and their show was very entertaining. Aside from the the sophisticated ladies, oh, mm. um, I thought the show as a Which whole was pretty good. We haven't really been talking about any dancers at all. Yeah, we need JK in here. Yeah, we, we do. We need because I'd be like they're all they're all pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <man. laughs> yeah. they were good. They good. Like spandex, good, <laughs> right. good. Great. Right. I've seen bad, you good. know, but they were pretty. Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> really good. It's a man's good. perspective. You they know? did really well. Good. You know? Right. They weren't really good. They were okay. good. <laughs> All right. good. Yeah. So but I did hear some other dancers in the booth talking about you know they weren't that no, great. No, no, don't so. say booth. Don't act. Yeah, You're I'm trying suite. to change You're in the suite. Suite. I mean, it's a booth. You, you suite. were in nobody's yeah. booth. Right. It's a booth. Suite. A booth is what you sit in on the Marbus. You, sir, <laughs> with a switch. Let's not. Let's not do that. Stop it. Let's get brand new on us. Stop it. It was a suite. It was a booth. It was all of the above. Was there food served? Yes, there is, were. Is he, yeah, that's not a booth. <laughs> you find booths at a fair. <laughs> you a fair. It was a sweet. <laughs> you guys, okay, you, you guys are participating in sweet envy <laughs> right now. <laughs> sweet Kinda envy. Brand new, right? Now, right? Sweet uh, envy. Uh, <laughs> sweet envy with, here. With his pinky up in the air, mm-hmm. like, dude, we know, we uh, get it. It's fine. It's whatever. Champagne. Champagne. Yes. Champagne. You know, the finest in champagne. You know. Good showing, Tennessee State University. <laughs> um, drum majors, get get some capes, man. Yeah. Get some capes, and that will lead to you eventually getting some style. I mean, I gotta give them. They tried something new. Like when they came out, mm-hmm. they did a little pyramid. Even though that's an old idea, you know, they had a pretty decent well, they're, entrance. They're traditionalists. Th- th- that's that's another thing. They because I I I will say this because I am band head. Mm-hmm. Bands before, first off, they play all kinds of music, right? Mm-hmm. And they are keeping in tradition. We are a traditional band. We march traditionally, and you know we're not going to do any gimmicks. This, that, and other. You notice that they never do gimmicks. That's right. True. They don't ever they do play. gimmicks. They just play and do whatever they feel. <laughs> this is a field show, but they do right. it. And but that's the thing. They keep with their tradition. So you know Much that respect. might be a. I, I'll, 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 I'll challenge you on this. You know, there's a famous philosopher who is so famous that I can't remember his name. <laughs> but he said something very relevant. And it always, it's always new and relevant. It's the same thing. Okay. Tradition was once a new idea. Mm-hmm. What we all know as tradition started true. off as new. experimentation That's very true. and too trial shy. and error, and it got to be a tradition. Too mm-hmm. shy. You got to try some new things in order to establish tradition. Well, so. well, we see that they tried something new because this is a new TSU, right? That, yeah. in, in comparison to any other. Now, in terms of the field, right? Let's take it a cake. <laughs> right. Set. Like skin wear. Set. <laughs> right. So now we're on. Oh, oh God! Girl, Here we go. Your movie, yeah. tired with no hands. <laughs> <laughs> Marching. That song is so significant oh. when he comes to talk about this next. Walker Fox uh, is gonna be visiting us in the next. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. So. Prairie View A and M University from mm. Texas. The Marching Storm. Mm. PV. What you can find them, you know that they bring like these people came from Texas because I really don't know that many yeah, people. They bring, just, a they bring a crowd. They bring an entire section of people that come to support the school, which is always great because you need that, especially being four or five states away they from do. your home. They have so a you have, huge they have a, support system. They, they do, and which is always great, especially right. in the band where you guys just don't know it. Yeah. Um 
they so open they, the numbers always what entertainment tonight yeah i don't mm-hmm. know if they did that this year they did okay uh, da, 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 yeah granted they might have did all this other wonderful they, thing they came and turned out now they were we, earlier we were talking about the, the, the honda, honda curse the honda curse uh-huh they were a victim of the Honda curse this second year. Yeah. They were. They were. And they, I think the only reason why Prairie View still gets a chance is because, you know, Southern has their on and off year when they decide that they, they want they to They want to be on the ballot. You know, right. whatever they Southern wanna, you, feels. They're, they're one of the, go- the and, guys. Like, right. if you put them on the ballot, they're going to come. <laughs> right. Period. Right. So, and it's then, an all thing. And right. then for a while, Jackson State was doing that, too. You know, we feel like coming, so we'll put our name on the ballot. So, I mean, when yeah. you look at that, you don't have too much left to choose from. The swag is usually in a regular rotation. You right. get some mm-hmm, the same. UA APB, you get and Alabama you get other State schools drawn and, in, right? They, which they would have be the Alabamas rotation. and the the Pine Bluffs, right? You right. would get those drawn in just to throw you off a little bit, right. but we have the same schools that come to represent the swag, right? That's pretty given. So right. um, I think that's the reason why Prairie View continues to come back even after the curse per se, right? Because they did suffer from the curse. Yeah, they, they were did. awful they that did. second year. Yeah, they yeah. weren't. It, it, it's just that they were. They did the same exact thing they did the first year. Mm-hmm. It was like everybody's like, oh the Percussion session, the percussion session. The oh, funk box. Oh wow, these guys. They call them just the box, some kind of I think it's funk box. And you know what? And I think because Jamboree has put me in the mindset of expecting all this different stuff with percussion sections mm-hmm. and I right. just have grown to hate them. Nothing against <laughs> guys who use their hands a lot. Mm-hmm. But I'm nothing just against them. <laughs> nothing against them. Guys who use their hands, all you mechanics, all you uh air conditioning, you blue collar guys, HVAC we're guys. Call, that's what we're gonna call percussionists they're right. blue collar carpenters <laughs> all right nothing so, against you guys right. <laughs> to all my blue collars it was just you know they came and they did a fresh it, it wasn't it wasn't anything out of drumline thank god right it was like that because that movie will totally have you in a different mindset of what band is and we all know what band is we've seen it so many times <sighs> we lived it right we lived it right so we lived it when they came and they did this oh man what yeah you know <laughs> right the Fire first time works. it was right and then they suffered the curse they did not do that well i want to even say their dancers did really well the f- what do they have the foxes they, they have the silver the foxes. They're the foxes. is it silver black boxes, boxes black boxes yeah they oh, did boxes. the dancers did really well their right. first time around it was like oh i expected them to do this that and the other and they did the, the exact same thing they did the, the exact year. same thing it was the like bro yeah, they really did the same show two mm-hmm. years in a row. Is that what you yeah. think of us? That's what got it. <laughs> I told yeah. you, you should feel insulted. As so, Atlantans. this year, um, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. The only thing I remember is the announcer saying... We're no, 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 no. Before ahead, you get to the announcer, <laughs> you got to get a backstory. Go ahead, please. No, I'm just saying that, what, well, they, they brought the percussion section out. They did. And which we already had a feature keep right. in mind the beginning of Con- honda was very different this year we right. had a percussion slash drum major we feature. talked about that right so we assumed that there would that be over. no percussion features during right. the show just for some fact that you were featured at the beginning of the show right don't be greedy right. but they know? apparently they hid their gym <laughs> for later <laughs> the not the gym they yeah. saved they it for later <laughs> I, I guess I just I didn't understand it. Maybe it didn't go as if it was you know like it was planned. You didn't hear yeah, the announcer, so clearly you. But I thought it was planned. It, it had to have been planned much differently than it went. Yeah, it this to. it was weird because you know of course they had the <laughs> they had the the funk box. I think mm-hmm. that's their name. Those guys. Mm-hmm. The box is what they call themselves. Mm-hmm. You know, and the box came out as they do. They'll they'll come down in the middle of a show. And they'll do a feature on the percussion. Right. And it came out, and I saw like a group of guys. There were chairs, and I don't know if it was snares or tenors or somebody. They stood mm-hmm. on the chairs. I remember that. Mm-hmm. And I remember they had some frisbees, some blue frisbees or something. <laughs> and when oh they got ready to stand on the chairs, they pushed the frisbees off, and then they stood on the chairs, and it's like they randomly jumped down and then threw the frisbees onto the sideline. It just seemed like. And as soon as they did that, everybody where I was was like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? It was like that little baby on the, the Easter. <laughs> Easter was, what? <laughs> I was the, like, we didn't understand what was going on. What's your mind? Look, we cannot miss halftime commercials. Right. We can't miss those. It's too right. late. The Super Bowl is going on, if yeah. y'all don't know. It's going yeah. on right now. But we, we had no idea what they were doing. And then, of course, they brought a guy out. And y'all know the Georgia Dome has like this 
a uh, two hundred foot screen mm-hmm. uh-huh. on both sides of the dome, mm-hmm. and there was a guy. He didn't have any. I guess from the from the elbow from down, the elbow he didn't down. have his arms, mm-hmm. and he had nubs, and he was playing the drums. I don't know how he managed to mm-hmm. do this. He was. No. It was amazing. It was an amazing yeah, act within it was. itself. It was. It was amazing. Mm-hmm. But it made everybody in the whole dome, all 40, 50,000 people there, it made everybody so <laughs> uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. <laughs> There's no other word to describe watching this and then the announcer coming on, which is my part. Right. And he says what? Well, Lana, watch us do it with no hands. What? Oh, it was terrible. What? It was, it was awful. It was like the worst kind of exploitation you yeah, can it was very display. Awful. Which, you know what? And I would say this because... It was terrible. I would say I have a friend that marched for the University of Arkansas Pine Bluff who, at the same token, had no about? arms. Ron. Yeah, Ron. Okay. Ron can do any and everything without a problem. Right. I think I've even played him in Madden online. Right. Like, this... this Guy is the truth. He can drive. He can do everything. Right. He, he has, does not allow that to prohibit him from. Exactly. Right. He has no limbs. Right. At the same token, he's not being exploited. Right. Right. Pine was, Bluff has never remotely thought to put him on the field right. as yeah. a sideshow. Right. PV, and that was even, a bad idea. And even if they had the other guys from the line out there with him, you know, doing a collective effort type thing, it's him saying, or you know, them showing that he's one of the boys. He can do what they do. But they threw him out there like a sideshow, and then right. for the you bring in the Waka Flocka Flame, the announcer <laughs> was say no what the biggest just... clown in Atlanta. You uh, use him as your term yeah, to was, describe it was your talented young man. We'll yeah, say with was, no limbs is doing it with doing no hands. No hands. It, was, it was rough. It's it terrible. It's really like rough. whenever we think about okay, you brought the fat dude up here to dance in front of the band. Mm-hmm. That's exploitation. Right. Okay, now you brought a white boy up here to dance mm-hmm. in front of the band. Oh, or a yeah. white girl. Or you have all these big girls. Right, or mm-hmm. all the big girls. The right. Bumblebees. Who come out during Alabama the State routine. is the, good for that. The Bumblebees. Which I hate when they do it because Alabama State has a good band and they don't need those they kind of guys. They don't need that extra don't need it. Exactly. I've said a shout out to my boy Mark Kane, who's a drum major at Alabama State. Mm-hmm. I told him so many times, y'all band is so good and so talented, y'all don't need them gimmicks. Right. And they know it. He know it. But that's what they do. It's Montgomery, Alabama. What Southern, you Southern, yeah. Southern University and, and their white boy. That one right, white, the boy. white boy. And you, we all think that these are the worst kinds of exploitations. But everybody loves it. They eat it up. Ha, ha, ha. We so it goes. You, you non-bandhead you know? people are the reason why this crap right. feeds. Like, <laughs> We've gotten desperate. Right. We've but gotten, this time. <laughs> you've gone too far. <laughs> this time there was I put polite put my applause. arm and shoulder down. <laughs> right. <laughs> put it down. I, I can't. Even the non band heads this time were like, oh my God. It was like a crucifixion. <laughs> it was very angry. It was bad. It was, it was it terrible. Was horrible. It was terrible. There was polite applause afterwards. Everybody was right. like, the guy's amazing. Clearly he is. Yeah. Yes, but oh, what do, I don't so know. Uneasy. It's so uncomfortable. You know what moment I had? The Ricky Bobby moment. I, huh. I, I don't I don't I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> it was one of those. I, I didn't know what to do with my hands. Uh, they told me that we could do it with no hands. However, you, I, I just I, I don't I don't Did you end up in a helmet running around <laughs> you know, my, in my underwear <laughs> right around the fifty yard line trying to figure right. my life out? Uh, if that had fire. happened, I would have been like, Hey, I understand. I'm right. Oh <laughs> fire. I'd like, be like, Oh man, she got Ricky Bobby. She having a Ricky Bobby moment. You got Ricky get, Bobby. Man. That's, that's what happened. happened. <laughs> but that's what happened, yeah. and it was just horrible. It was like, very unfortunate. It's very like, unfortunate. And wow. if you guys don't come next year, great. Right. That's just yeah, me. We, we, yeah. need a, we need a break after that. I'm sorry. Yeah. We need a break. Else on the you, you need a break. Texas obviously. Southern, come back with your girls yeah. kicking down the field. Yeah. I rather. I see actually that. like UAPV too. I would love. They to were see good. That. Yeah, I would love to see you. I don't know why they didn't make it back because they did. They make it back. No, they didn't. Mm-hmm. They, they didn't make it They, I, I you right. That was Texas Southern that brought the girls out from the end zone, kicking, kicking, kicking from the end oh, zone to the middle field. I that know was, that. Yeah, that was like an erupted moment. That yeah. was good. Cause we, like, we had to go on after that. It was terrible. Yeah, <laughs> it was awful. It, it's hard. Like the yeah. dome erupted. We're like, what the that heck was, is going yeah. on? Yeah, the was kicking all the way down. That the field. was crumb. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was crumb. So, but PV, yeah, they call you the marching storm. That certainly was a storm of uncomfortability and confusion. 
And when y'all put that boy out there in front of everybody, oh, wait. it was it it was a it was a storm of and again un, of discomfort. we here we here ninety degree radio think that he's a very talented young of man. Of course, he is very talented to do that. The fact I can't play a drum with my two hands, but he <laughs> right. can play right. like no with, kind of with wrist. You, know, you know, he can do this. Right. He's a very talented young man, but that is not how you showcase that. That's and you not. brought you brought up Storm. It's interesting that you brought up Storm because going into their dance routine, the band brought out white. Southern Bell umbrellas. umbrellas. Yes, they did. Yeah. Oh. So it's like an already nose diving act, and I'll call it an act because that's what it was. Is now <sighs> nose diving even worse. Yeah. Um, everybody umbrellas. had them. Everybody, not the dancers. I.e., you would see Southern University. Not, yeah. not, not the. Um, I didn't understand that. I don't know what they were playing. It, it hurt my feelings. I thought they were gonna be playing "Do What You Wanna." Right. Something. But I, and then even then, I would have been like, "Why are y'all doing well, that?" The band. Exactly. That's specific to I'm Southern. Southern. I'm talking we about Southern. band uniforms wide open because they were obviously in the uniform. I saw so somebody specifically take their hat off, throw it off. Like, no, it didn't fall off because <laughs> yes, of work. You 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 took your hat off. The whole, God. Right. The whole band unbuttoning uniforms. Some mm-hmm. people took hats off, yes. and then they had white umbrellas. I don't know. Like, I couldn't hear what the announcer was saying. Cause I always look for the announcer to explain to me sometimes what's That's happening what they on the radio. They're, they're guiding right. you. Right. That's what they're supposed to do. Yeah. You know, but maybe, maybe somebody from Prairie View can email us. You maybe know, they let can. Us, let us know. Yeah. Please. Holler at us, man. Band Post on bandroomnation.com band or you know, uh, bandroomnation at Gmail. Somebody yeah, need to tell us. Somebody needs to tell us what is going Give on. Give us some what type of happening? explanation, please. Because that was just that was just kind of weird. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It weirded me out. Yeah. It did. PV, yeah. if y'all don't get invited back. That is, that's probably why, <laughs> that's we, probably why we, it was just, we didn't have anything to do with it. It was just kind of crazy. It was kind of crazy. lack of Yeah, I didn't planning. get it. But there you know, the whole, the whole PV crew was, you know, backing him up and supporting him as usual. And they cover shirts looking like cute. <laughs> right. Yeah. An entire it section. Like, while they're waving umbrellas. I didn't get it. <laughs> while they're waving There's umbrellas. There's no rain. Right. And, and somebody said, somebody said it's like, so they're all, the band's going to have seven years of bad luck. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, yeah, umbrella, all of y'all. Baby. Seven times how many band members they have. <laughs> Because each band member had an umbrella, so mm-hmm. seven times two fifty will give you. That's how many years of bad luck <laughs> y'all been rolling around. Your state has been set back. Oh, I don't man. know how many years you got Jeb Bush and whatever else is going oh, on yeah, now. You guys jumping out your feet from, from We're beating a dead horse, y'all. We are beating a dead horse. Let's move on. This was yeah, man. Oh, so we're the last man. We are the last man. Gosh. Uh, we only did eight bands this year, and it yeah, took us, and it took us long. an hour and yeah. eleven minutes. And there's a lot to say. <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot to say. We know as long as we're getting this off our chest, you know, we got to get it off. Right. So let's go Bethune Cookman University. Not mm-hmm. college. The great Bethune Cookman University. No longer Baca. So just so we understand, we are seated with. Did you, you hear what I just said? Mm-hmm. The Baca. Baca. That. <laughs> That's what we used to say at Fam. You Baca. Baca. We are it's very rude. We, we are in it the was. <laughs> but at the, the same time, we were singing y'all theme song too. Yeah, that's pretty hot. Theme. So, so we, see, we were saying Wildcats yeah. go home <laughs> instead of Wildcats. You know let's that's go. clever. Wait, wait, since you are, but we were from, singing it. You are from Bethune Cookman. How do you feel about what school is that? Uh, Albany. Albany. Let's go. Oh yeah, we have a huge problem with that. Because um, I understand high school what? bands play Let's Go. Right. That's fine. Whatever. Hold on, uh, wait a minute. Albany State play, plays in That's the only college band in the history of college. Well, no, they're bands. not the only one. Wait, but who else plays it? Tuskegee plays the bass line. I don't know if they play the actual song. I think Tuskegee plays it. Fort Valley plays the bass line. Only somebody from uh from Bethune Cookman. Oh yeah, we keep tabs. We keep tabs. We keep tabs. It's copyright. Really? It's copyright. So <laughs> right. the, the the second we see it on TV, you know, we we coming after you. Right. Uh, <laughs> That's like a really high form of flattery. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We'll keep it quiet now, but wait till we see it on TV. But no, Albany is the I think one of the only ones who plays the can like plays the entire song. Right. They play Let's Go Wildcats, and then had the audacity to tell us that. Um, they're allowed to play it because uh, one of the past band directors from BC, some something crazy. That was, was, yeah, it doesn't matter. Foolish, right? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't, matter. You all it doesn't matter at all. Right. It's, it's copyrighted. It Can't spell it out there. Right. It's copyrighted. Copy- copy- Meaning yeah. the law protects right. it. Yeah, the, the law <laughs> says that you can't play it unless you have our written consent. That right. but is crazy. That is synonymous. Law aside, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that's that's you, most people would stop there, <laughs> right? You know, law aside, 
That is a song again. Like we were talking about uh, Spotlight Groove Spotlight and Morris Brown. Right. Yep. That is a song that's synonymous with Bethune Cookman College and Bethune Cookman University. Mm-hmm. It's a given. You could yeah. go back in time. That song is synonymous with Bethune Cookman. Right. Martin <laughs> men of. That's just what it is. That's right. What Do what you wanna, like. Southern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, blowing right. Jackson State. Yeah, right. I always say this right. lovely day for AM. Yeah. Right. Lovely day. Yeah. AM, lovely day. Right. Um, Fam you tribute to Bob Marley. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Uh, mm-hmm. SOS. There's mm-hmm. certain songs that, that you, you know you're going to hear at a school. You know that's their song. Right. You don't touch it. You don't touch so it. That's to their be, song. To that, be a colleague, but then that takes me back to that whole their high, high school is. Yeah, that kind of fits into we that. We are playing old to you guys. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. is what they're, you know what, you just proved that point. Yeah. You just oh, think you know. that, oh, ain't nobody going to hear it. <laughs> right, because we in all the But now YouTube. Oh, the right. courtesy of YouTube. <laughs> Everything you do nowadays shows up right. on YouTube. Your secret was totally safe <laughs> until, until that day. Dang YouTube came and ruined right. everything. Now, I would have got away with it if it wasn't for that melon <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. Scooby-Doo <laughs> right, right. I was trying to think of it, but I couldn't even get it. <laughs> yeah, I go get them. <laughs> Old school cartoon. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> They're relevant. You see how relevant they still are? They are. They That's are. It's funny, though. But the Thune Cookman University. Yeah. Um, dare I say this in public? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Bethune Cookman is the living embodiment of what our motto has always been at FAMU. Mm-hmm. Musicianship, precision. Mm-hmm. Cookman encompasses all that. I'll just say it. Mm-hmm. They do. I agree. I'll just say it. And they every do. time they show up, they show you musicality. And precision. Mm-hmm. Right. I've yet to see them perform and just felt right. empty. I, I, right. I think I've at this never, point, the only thing that Bethune Cookman could do that would shock everybody if they just went out there and just looked and sounded like butt. Right. <laughs> that, that, that's like the only thing. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like right. complete butt. Everybody right. be like, whoa. And they, right. the crowd would go crazy because it's something new and different. Right. Other than that, <laughs> I don't know of anything right. different. But I appreciate because it's not like you all come and you do something. This is what I expect from a Thone Cookman show. I expect you guys to come on your lives to be completely straight. Mm-hmm. Play what? What is your some intro? Yeah, whatever your right. intro is for that year, you mm-hmm. play right. it. But your lives are completely freaking straight. Mm-hmm. You come out, you play. Let's go. You march into your whatever formation is that and the other. You go into your. Um, Concert and your concert, whatever it is, is always gonna be freaking awesome. Mm-hmm. Get to, I'm still stuck on. I want to say, um, a drum major, something or another. What year at Honda? And I want to either it was Vivian Grant, I wish whoever, Chrisette Michelle, one of them, mm-hmm. yeah, one of those neo soul people one. trying to find themselves. Mm-hmm. It was one of those songs, and it still sticks to me to this day. <laughs> And then you, and then your dance routine, you play the dance routine, they would never <laughs> put their instrument down. If you find a instrument down on the ground for Bethune Cookman, it's not Bethune Cookman. You know, and I just wanted to say that, like, <laughs> even, even when I don't enjoy you all's dance routine, because mm-hmm. I'm just like, all right, at some point, the dance routine is supposed to be buck wild. It's supposed to be a lot of energy. <laughs> right. And I'm like, all right, y'all all look like the same person. The movements aren't all that great. Oh, y'all attack of the clones. Everybody looks the same exact way. It's not exciting. Another Star Wars. Y'all reference. are very robotic. Everybody, right. Y'all yeah. are robotic. Oh yeah. That is. They are robotic. robotic. That's the that's their biggest down. Yeah, everything is one, two, three, four, right. five, six, seven, eight. Even How do you contemplate ratchetness? <laughs> You're gonna do ratchetness at one and two and uh It's uh, possible. Like, <laughs> I didn't think it was till I got there, but it's very possible. Everything even, even counts. Even when I'm saying to myself, man, they look so robotic, I'm overwhelmed by the sound. Mm-hmm. The True. quality of the sound on the dance routine. Right. I, I can remember looking at a YouTube video of Cookman from what I had already seen at the Florida Classic Ballad of Bands. Mm-hmm. And I remember I went looking for this because I said, I remember what this sounded like. <laughs> and, and I just remember thinking to myself, these Negroes sound wonderful. <laughs> they sound, they actually sound, like you hear people say, man, that sounded beautiful. Mm-hmm. They actually sounded gorgeous. Mm-hmm. They sounded, that boy's good. Gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> they sound gorgeous. <laughs> like ro- even when they're robotic, it, I they sound run, and, and this is my, right. my running thing I, because I think, well, of course, that was the first school I auditioned for, the first school I got a scholarship from. 
And one of my things that got me is that they could take the most ratchet of songs and make it sound like elevator music. Right. <laughs> it is incredible how one could take no hands. You know, uh, you know we, we saw right. how the Prairie View Ugh. Right. blumbered that. But if you give Bethune-Cookman University this arrangement you or can this, right. and, and and it would sound like like it would be the most like elegant type place. you know what I'm saying it, it would take me I would feel okay with no hands right <laughs> they're gonna play it gonna think about that you know what they will make you <laughs> either the song is called no hands not only will they make you imagine yourself with no hands they will give you hands. <laughs> you have That's how hands. well they right. play it. It's, it's like it's the song like is no hands, but the way we play it, you now have hands. <laughs> you don't want to be here. Go you're, for it. You are inclined. Hand moment. <laughs> <laughs> you now have hands. You now have a bit. Of... <laughs> they do. Go for you it. have hands. Go for it. Like... You, you'll be here. Go for it. Right. And listeners, please don't take this as, oh, we all love. That's not the case. They are good. They just good. Yeah. They are good. They're you can't you can't take it. There's a reason why they've been to however many Hondas they've been to. There is a reason. There's a reason. It is not because oh people just vote. No, they're exceptionally no freaking. What I'm trying well. to tell you all is the votes don't matter. It doesn't. Right. Look look at Honda the first four or five years. Mm. You talk about vote this, vote that, vote this. Every year FAMU was in it. They had a formula. No, because they knew you got to have this man, that right. man, this man. Uh -huh. right. And they made it appear as if it was about votes. Mm -hmm. So I'm just saying yeah. all that to say it, the, the votes don't matter. Right. It, Cookman is good. They That's why they're back right. every year. The boy's good. And they always don't have either <laughs> FAM or BCU. It, I noticed always. that. Yep. It's always one or the other. All and right. the year that is both of them. You get it. It's even better, right? <laughs> it's even better, right. you know. So but comparisons are always made. It, it, you know, of course. I, I, I love their show this year. Um, I wanted to say I fell in love with the tubas. I don't know what they're called, but I definitely fell in Rock. love with T.O.P. Oh my God, the trumpets this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, M. Freaking G. But see, this is one thing that I love about certain bands because a lot of times when people do dance routines or chants or whatever. They, you don't know what's going on. Right. And if you're in a large band, you just hear a bunch of, ah, you right. don't know what anyone is saying. <laughs> they don't take their instruments down. So they play the chant, and good old Horatio, he comes in, and he throws in his <laughs> two does. cents. Right. So you know what they're doing, but they really, it is a field show from beginning to the end. Mm -hmm. The instruments talk. They don't need, they really don't need it. anybody right. announcer. They don't right. need an announcer because their show speaks for themselves. I like announcers right. like Horatio. I like announcers like Joe Bullard at Fam. Mm -hmm. I like I even like Jackson State's yeah, old announcer. That. You know, because I don't know who they have yeah. now. It seems like a it's a different it's person. A, They're going through a transition it's a different right now. Person. I think the last guy retired. Yeah, because he was a professor. I right, believe. he was an older guy. Yeah, and I like them because you know why? Because they simply highlight what's happening on exactly. the field. They don't and overstate. They, they don't talk over the band. Mm -hmm. They just highlight what's happening. They put a period at the end of the sentence or right. exclamation, whatever right. it needs to be. There you it's go. very strategic. A lot of bands. Yeah, uh, it's a band science. The other, hur, 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 right. <laughs> rapping during the dance team. Right. No, <laughs> no, no, right. no. Put your mic on mute, sir. Right. <laughs> you know, you know that's, it's, We all know right. those that are from Georgia. Yeah, Good we know about them. Georgia and Alabama. And High school. Yeah, Sandy Pearl. Sandy <laughs> Pete, whatever her name is. Love her. Love her, love her, love her. But now, it's time to Blue Oh, my God. <laughs> the whole time. The entire 10 minutes Redan was on the field. This is what you heard. The See, whole that, that went over time. some of the young listeners' head. They don't right, know right, about right. Pete. Right. They don't know about her. Yeah, I don't but know yeah, nothing about that. She, she was definitely one of those announcers. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, like one of those band parents that just, mm -hmm. you know, was yeah. really excited about the band. And yeah. we love those. Yeah, we and just, then they just happened to get on the mic. We yeah, just she really band. want you to put the uniforms together. We don't really want you to come out of the band. Right. She's excited about band. <laughs> That's our Gatorade. <laughs> Make sure no. everybody's shirt tucked Please, in. Keep, keep, keep it calm and quiet. Need to give some gloves. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah. That's but there's all. a science to announcing. There's it really, really a science. It really really and there's is. a strategy, like you said. Mm -hmm. And I admire those announcers who say, my band is doing their thing. All I simply want to do is just boom, pop in right there, mm -hmm. clear this up, boom. There you go. Horatio does a very good job of that. Then just say something at the end to make everybody go, oh, right. oh, oh he yeah. went in. Oh, right. Oh. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. 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 And leave it at that. And, and then, uh, I mean, and then Cookman 
in that formation, the final formation they made. Mm-hmm. They put a Honda symbol. Mm-hmm. They did. The new on the Honda. Field. The new, not, the old, the, not the old Honda. <laughs> not the old Honda. <laughs> they, it wasn't from no 98 Honda. <laughs> Which, they, those are good cars. Those are good they, cars. They're still driving their mm-hmm. 98 Honda. They, it's, it's a lot of them still on the road. You can use tell how you, good a car you is. A, you, a good car. Honda is a very good car. Honda, Honda is a, forget what you heard. Honda is mm-hmm. a great car. However, Another plug. this was a. This was the 2000. <laughs> they, they did, this was the 2012 model uh-huh. symbol that they put on the field. They did. It was in 3D. <laughs> it, was. it was. It we had an IMAX experience. We did. <laughs> well, I'll say it for the people in the back. But the whole Cookman University gave an IMAX <laughs> IMAX experience. That's, that's what happened. It was serious. It was in 1080p. <laughs> 3D about oh a, about a, a million to one uh, ratio, contrast ratio. <laughs> It was nice. It was nice. It was really nice. Where this was Blu-ray. From? <laughs> <laughs> it was serious. Hey, look, let me tell you, because I was surrounded to my left. I had mm-hmm. a, oh gosh, a T.O.P. alumni. To my right, I had a T.O.P. alumni. I had a 14K alumni. Mm-hmm. I was Literally surrounded everywhere. by B.C.U. alumni. So it wasn't even a matter. It was like I was there quiet. I was there quiet because I was enjoying the show. Mm-hmm. They were off in their little tizzies because yeah. they were like, yes, we're doing that. Just completely it, it was pride. Right. It was pride. They just had a lot of pride and mm-hmm. hence their name. Right. They have a lot of pride and they should. They, they are should. very good band and right. it really showcases on the field. You be surprised how much pride a person takes in what they do and how it showcase on the field. Yep. Because if you have but, i.e. Tennessee State drum majors, if you have do whatever it is you're supposed to be doing, mm-hmm. it shows. Yeah, your it pride is clearly not there. Right, you clearly right. don't have pride in your program and what you're doing or your school or whatever else. Right. Those kids down there, I would give them that they have pride. Mm-hmm. I right. need those polos they wore to the banquet on Friday. I'm right. not going to throw it. They wore those right, nice right. little polos to the banquet. Man, I'm on 90 Degree Radio, man, you never know who's going to stop through, man. We got band director from Miller Grove High School, Kevin Shepard. I was just stopping in to say I'm out there. Hey, man, you know what? <laughs> You know what's funny, man? We were just talking about the Rangers. Yes, sir. We were talking oh, about yeah. the Rangers who yes, have him. the ability yes, to basically take a song the band, like Waka Flocka the band. and make it sound like <laughs> elevator music. The band. And I was thinking, sure, Kevin Shepard, and you walked in the room. And he comes in the room. Yeah, yeah man. We just want to shout you out, man, because you're one of those arrangers who can take any song. Because, you know, we don't think very much yeah. in terms musically of radio music. We'll bob our hair to it. We're dancing in the club. But for radio music, we don't think too much of it. But it's running away from it's me. like you can take like I told you about the the, the Marvin Gaye and Chardonnay that I heard Miller Grove play. Hey man, the kids brought me that song, man, and um, I listened to it and I just saw some potential in it that wasn't really there immediately with the song, you know. And I, I figured we could take it to that next level. Man. Hey man, let me tell you something, man. I watch a lot of HGTV, right? <laughs> I see people take raggedy houses and flip them. <laughs> Bro, you you flip arrangements. That's what you do. You, you flip songs. You bring equity to the songs. That's what you do. <laughs> hey man, we appreciate you, bro. You came in. Oh, no, 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 perfect leaving, time. Perfect time. Just have to come in the holiday town, man. All right, man. Good to see you, man. Flip this house. Equity. Flip this arrangement. That's what we <laughs> Wow, that was that yeah, show right. different. The the people that we have coming through, you mm-hmm. just never right. know. Because that was through. so right. random. Never like know. Kevin Shepard, right. band of uh, director right. at Miller Grove, Miller Grove High School. Phenomenal right. program. They built that program. Oh man. Skyrocketed. You know what? We probably not gonna get into that. Yeah, that's great. Right. But, uh, right. That'll, that'll be our jamboree show. show. It's jamboree, yeah, but right. that man. But talk about somebody who has a band and it don't matter if it's 12 of them on the right. field. They sound incredible every single time. Ninth and 10th grade just going. Man. <laughs> You're like, what? Man. What's going on? Right. They have a, right. Like you said, a band full of ninth and 10th Miller grade. Gro- Miller Grove versus Albany. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no. <laughs> I'll take Miller Grove All right. every time. Hey, hey. Hey, why not? We already got people hating. Let's just add that in there. Hey, one is going to sound better than the other. We're not going to say who. I'm just saying. Everybody you know. can't win. It's got to be I'm one of I'm just saying. Losing. 
It's got to be one loser. <laughs> Maybe Kevin Shepard should go be the band director or the arranger at Albany. Oh. You know what? If he goes to any college. Yes. Yeah, yeah I've, the I've been smart. telling him this for the past seven years. The man is smart. Like, Miller Grove, he brought him from the ground up right. in like two years. Yeah. Who does that? Like, like you have to there really. There's some extra, like. You got to be an like appreciator Disney. of yeah. music to really. To really be able he to is just a musician, he is he to be able to get the kids to understand yeah, and be so soulful mm-hmm. in their interpretation of that music. That that's some and another thing that I love that he does, and it allows for scholarship opportunities for his kids. Most of his kids in his band play two instruments, meaning they play a woodwind and a brass. Mm-hmm. Right, and he they, will switch them over to that brass switches. during marching season. All the clarinets may be on French horn, baritone, some of the brass instrument. Yep. In concert season, they are back on the instrument. They are diverse in what they do. They can audition on two instruments. They get more money. They have more opportunities. That's right. True. I appreciate that. And not only right, just because to do that, not only do you have to be a musician, but you have to be a teacher, an educator. You've got to. You know, if we always talk about, I hear President Obama and the Republicans a lot of times talking about pay. You know. For, uh, for for teachers and and, and performance right pay and, for performance right what Kevin Shepard would be at the top of that scale <laughs> he would he would because yeah. he teaches these kids but, uh, and they learn people don't well. appreciate the arts yeah they, they don't, don't appreciate yeah. the arts that's one thing that yeah. that's one thing the, this country is struggling with very true don't realize that most of you, I, Bill Clinton played saxophone guys he did, he did. exactly and now he's a sigma. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this wow. this guy. Yeah, you know this guy here. Yeah. Most of the people who think with both sides of their brain. Yeah. People don't understand that. Again, that's maybe I should do a push for I feel like I have some underlying something where right. I want to motivate people to understand and support music and the fine arts and right. this, that, and the other. Right. But I'm not gonna digress. We that's were okay. we, closing uh, out on BC. We were talking about right. how wonderful BCC <laughs> yeah. BCU looked and sounded. And how their whole show was in um, Blu-ray, uh-huh. 1080p quality. Like you had the option to put it on HD. Yes. Like you, that button you click. On yes, your, the HD right. button. They cl- somebody clicked that at the beginning of the show. Oh, of the show yeah. right. so. And it was it was in 3D, and you didn't need glasses. It was the newest <laughs> kind of 3D technology. You don't even need no glasses for this one. Just look at just look at this, the field. Is it made you want to go to a Florida Classic, I, which I've never I been was, to. I was I've never a very, that, so. very proud alumnus. I was. Proud I was. moment. Proud. They very did very proud. well. And very see, the, the thing about them is, they're not trendy. Right. They just come play, and they come march. They definitely and don't that, do what's cool. Yeah. Right. And see, but you can take that kind of show in the band world. We might be like, ah, uh, you know, they're a little boring sometimes. Mm-hmm. But you can take that show. It's the same reason why they keep getting invited back. Because mm-hmm. the truth of the matter is, it's an argument we were having a long time ago. It's like, if your band were restricted from dancing, mm-hmm. what show could you do to exactly. still showcase the best of your band's quality? Right. If you couldn't do your best contesting. Right. Right. <laughs> right. It's creative as much as you love dance. And, and I don't think anybody even realized the fact that no one knew what the crap Bethune Cookman was playing in the Hyde Assembly. Mm-hmm. Because even us as alumni, we had to call and ask people what we are playing. I wouldn't. Nobody I didn't knows. Even, I don't think anybody even cares. I was just like, it just sounded. <laughs> this is me. I was like, wow, this Honda symbol is right in front of my face. It's popping out, it's popping out it's at me. Right. And I don't have any 3D glasses. Right. You know? It's right there. Something, something's crazy here. It, it, yeah. Someone, it was, I think it was, it was, it was, a, it was a, a small, not not real debate, but mm-hmm. um, some people on Twitter one from Jackson State and one from Bethune Cookman and mm-hmm. they were like, you know, it's like, well what did you think of the show? It's like, yeah, you know, the guy from Jackson State was like, Well, I think it was great. You know, I just we, we couldn't do a hundred because I wouldn't be that big. <laughs> the lowercase hundred. <laughs> Well, <laughs> like, like, but you know, people appreciated, you know, what you guys did. Right. Like yeah. it wasn't. It definitely wasn't just oh, you did it in the block. Right. Know? It was right. actually like these guys right. stepped you outside. Did like, that. You did right. that. You we, did we that. We appreciated that. We appreciated you guys utilizing the field and Your using size, and doing yeah. a field show yeah. and and taking a band and doing a picture show for us. Yeah. You know? Because it was either y'all or a fam. Yeah. So we were just we, we needed a lot of some people, imagery somewhere. Yeah. A lot of people don't even realize that we get a lot of flack for doing the 
the picture drills because people say, oh, you're trying to be like family. You only right. do it on the Florida Classic or something like that. But what people don't realize, what we talked about earlier is we have that whole show planning committee and we take into thought the stadium that we're playing exactly. in. Exactly. Right. At Municipal, picture drills won't be sufficient because our stadium only goes Shallow. up as, right. Right. It only goes up as high as a two-story house. Right. So it would be useless to put all this time into a picture drill. So the only time we play at that type of venue or that type of um, stage is the Florida Classic and Honda. Right. So that's when you're going to see the pictures. Right. But people always say, you only do pictures because you play a family. You know. Yeah. Well, that's... It's a funny it's thing. Common thought, sense, it sounds like to me. Uh, yeah. Thought goes into it. I mean, know? yeah. You know, I, every HBCU that's 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 recognized right. as one of the premier ones, mm-hmm. come on. I mean, Southern does the, the circle score. drills. The and score. The, uh-huh. You know, I mean, you can look at tapes where... Cookman and fam, you did the score back in the right. 60s and 50s. Yeah. yeah. So what sometimes it's like what we think of as an original idea for one school, it's not really an original idea. Right. Mm-hmm. And even if it is, when a school comes up with a, a, a kind of show or some kind of strategy that is good enough to use as a model, right. I don't see anything wrong with that. Mm-hmm. You know, Tennessee State, we talked about them in terms of their stand uh, repertoire. Mm-hmm. Like, what's wrong with every HBCU saying, you know what, I like that model. Right. Or at least attempting to, or saying to myself, or saying to themselves, you know what, instead of just playing loud songs back and forth, yeah. right. <laughs> right. let's dibble into classic. He's let's dibble into he jazz. Does. He's pointing at me, though. It's no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I am not. I am not. Jeez, That's not directed at you. I'm sorry. <laughs> You know, <laughs> really, really. <laughs> well, no, you know, but if, if if the band say let's take this formula that Tennessee State is using, let's get into classical, let's get into R and B, new school, old school, let's get into old school and new school hip hop, everything. Let's go game show music, let's go jazz, mm-hmm. let's let's exercise It'd be more of a competition, right? But if Tennessee State was the first person, the first band doing that, and all other bands decide that's the new standard. Then if FAMU does picture drills and the bands decide, well, this is the new standard that gives, hey, do it. Right. Do it. Because only us in the band world are going to be saying, oh, y'all do that. Go for right. you did. Oh, so, oh, you did so, that. So, so people did. breathing now? So you want to breathe? Right. <laughs> right. So, right. so before right. people weren't breathing. Right. Because we were in y'all. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. We get it. Yeah. Right. Man, props to <laughs> Bethune Cookman University. Excellent performance. Was my top band for the Honda. Mm-hmm. It was my top band as well. Well, obviously it was mine. Yeah, there it is. Right. Has there ever been a time when they weren't? No. You can be honest. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Never. Not one. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Never. All right, man. So check this out. We're gonna take a little commercial break, and we're gonna come up and come back. I'm sorry. And we are going to try to dispel some myths about hazing in the light of the death of our dear friend Robert Champion, mm-hmm. um, who I knew personally. Samantha. I, I love Robert. He was awesome. Yeah, knew him personally. Um, he was. Great clarinet player. If yeah. You, if you've never had the opportunity to hear him play or lead or anything. Great clarinet awesome. player. Great, great leader. leader period. Great leader. Just mm-hmm. great person to take any guidance from. Right. He was definitely that person. So. And honestly, I can sit here and say he died in vain. You know, that is no reason to lose your life. Mm-hmm. Anything associated with band. Uh, that's no, that's no, that there would ever, never be a justification for me for the loss of that life or any life for that matter. Um, but when we come back, we're going to talk about Robert a little bit and we're going to dispel some hazing myths and uh, wrap it up here on 90 Degree Radio. Slate to the Rock, Sky Blue, Lonnie B. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs>